Hey everybody, it's Casey Williams. I know some of you are really liking the idea of having an electric luxury crossover, but if you're like me, you're really afraid of finding a charging station when you're out driving around. And for you, the vehicle we have this week might be perfect. It's a 2024 Lexus 450H. Let's go have a look at it. The 450H is the plug-in hybrid version of Lexus's popular RX mid-size crossover, and I really like the design of this generation of it. And it's also a design that's evolved very well since the late 1990s when they first introduced this model. But this one, it looks electrified. You've got kind of a blended in monochrome look from the Lexus trademark spindle grille. I like the squinty LED headlamps. It looks really good. Some people might think the grille's a little bit too big, a little bit too overdone, but I think it works really well in the front of this vehicle. And again, it does look very electrified. Come around the side, also looks very expensive. It's a very upscale look to it. The 21 inch dark alloy wheels, all the chrome around the windows, I like the floating roof design. They've had the last couple of generations, but it all works really, really well together. And again, the RX is really kind of Lexus's Toyota Camry you know, of their lineup. It's a very popular vehicle. It really represents the brand. And I think this has all the right brand image for that. Come around the back. Again, more of the current Lexus styling elements, you know, the thin wraparound tail lamps, the Lexus on the badge back here on the back. Again, looks very nice. Inside. Now this is a vehicle that for a lot of people it's going to be take, maybe take a couple kids or a couple retirees so you're not going to need lots of luggage space but this one has quite a bit of luggage space especially when you put the back seats down fold down plenty of space there so you can get four people in here pretty comfortably get away for a week and not a problem at all the interior of the rx 450 really does take on the persona of being an upscale electrified vehicle i really like the current lexus designs and lexus has always been your kind of a plush interior and very unique but I really like this generation. I like the light wood grain. And if you really, if you start touching around, this is like suede up here on the dash, also on the doors, it's kind of cloth, suede here on the seats and the rest of its leather. But it just, everything just feels very expensive, but yet very comfortable. And this is a car you feel like you can get in your shorts and t-shirt and, and, and be very comfortable in it. And you really can. So I like that's kind of a, you know, down low luxury on the vehicle. A lot more wood grain here on the console, steering wheel, leather wrapped with wood grain. Again, I just think it's just very well done. All the details are just right. The new 14-inch touchscreen. If you've been in some of the recent Toyotas, the new Camry, the new Toyota Crown, um, some of the other Lexus models, this screen would look very familiar to. It's very large. It's, I mean, it's basically a large iPad in terms of size. Um, but but being, being Lexus Toyota, very easy to use. Icons down the side for navigation, for audio, phone. Click right through them. Swipe screen it. You can voice command it, however you want to do it. I'm really glad that Lexus finally got rid of their joystick controller in the console that was really just a pain in the butt. This works so much better. Love this. Um, dual zone automatic climate control. Very easy to just dial it in. Volume control is all right here too. Um, down below, you've got wireless charging for your phone down here on the console. This also has wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. So again, you can just get right in, Bluetooth the Bluetooth your phone, and have full connectivity there. So that'll work really well. USB is down below. Panoramic sunroof. Another thing I really like about Lexus models, this has it, is the Mark Levinson audio system. Sounds just absolutely pristine. Just fills the cabin full of sound. Love it. Some other things I really like, I do like the flat screen instrument cluster. This has a pretty wide heads up display projected out over the hood um, for speed and all the safety systems are out there. And speaking of the safety systems, this is really well loaded. Pretty much everything you'd want on a vehicle you've got. You've got adaptive cruise, automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, lane tracing, blind spot warning, rear cross path detection with auto brake, everything. If I have a complaint though, the systems do make a lot of beepy noises. Even when I'm fully aware, I've been driving this weekend, when I'm fully aware that there's you know a bush in front of me and I'm backing up and it's beeping at the bush, it's like some of this is a little bit unnecessary. And then I was trying to back it in to get to the charging plug in my garage and it just absolutely refused to let me like back it up next to that bush. That drives me nuts. So there's just maybe a little bit overdone um and, and, and my, my fear always is when the systems are beeping and buzzing all the time people start turning them off and start ignoring them and that's that's really not a good thing either so what i really have enjoyed you know beyond all the luxury and the style and stuff of the rx 450h i've liked driving it and i think this is where they really hit the sweet spot toyota has been pretty reluctant to have electric vehicles like full evs they really invested in hybrids which is you know so going back to the Prius, really been one of their hallmarks. And most of the Lexus models are, are hybrid as well. But the advantage of doing the plug-in, this has 37 miles, all electric range. 
So you can plug it in your garage. You've got, you, for most people, you've got enough range to take the kids to school, to go to work, run some errands, come back home. So you got 37 miles, especially if you have a plug at work, a plug in a downtown garage or somewhere else where you're even at lunchtime. You can pick up a couple extra miles and you've got plenty of range to get around. I did that. I've got, one, I've got a plug in my garage, charged it overnight, drove into the office about 10 miles away, plugged it into the office. And I just constantly had, had power. So I pretty much, well, in fact, I haven't. I haven't burnt any gas at all this week driving the vehicle, um, all electricity. But if you do want to get on the road and drive it, it has a 2.5 liter gasoline engine. After that 37 miles, it'll fire up, and then you can drive from coast to coast if you want to, just using gas. Um, if you're doing that, you'll get pretty good gas mileage, too. 35 miles per gallon as, as a hybrid. Um, all combined, if you're looking at the total total system, 83 miles per gallon equivalent with the electric plus the gas. So, again, I think it's really, really good. Really good range on electric. I think it's very competitive for what this is. But you still have the freedom. If you want to get on the highway, drive this thing. You can drive it pretty much anywhere, anywhere you want to drive it. I can already hear some people responding to this and saying, yeah, but the problem with the plug-in hybrid is, you know, when you're in electric mode, you're dragging around a gasoline engine, so it's not very efficient. And when you're in gas mode, you're dragging around all these batteries, and you're not very efficient. Fine. When I can finally find a plug anywhere I go, and I can recharge the vehicle easily, I'm going to be all in on electric vehicles. Until then, I think something like this works really well. 37 miles electric range, and still have the ability, getting really good gas mileage, to drive coast to coast. One thing you are going to have to deal with, though, is a pretty hefty price tag. So the RX with a gas engine starts just under $50,000. This one, plug-in hybrid, fully decked out, $76,505. But knowing the history of this vehicle, knowing the reputation of Lexus, and specifically the RX, if you buy this vehicle, you're likely to drive it for a very long time. So next week, we'll have another fun car. Until then, storm forward.